Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, every day, every single day, it seems like we're getting more and more disclosure and from multiple sources. And I think sightings are going up at a very fast rate, perhaps even exponentially. So this is out of the New York Post. Mysterious lights in the sky could be signs of alien life, experts are saying. And so it's astrophysicists and scientists actually saying this now. So it's pretty interesting It's not just us, uh, quote-unquote, ufologists and people that are just fascinated with the phenomenon, but now more than ever, it seems that more and more officials, uh, people with a science pedigree, are coming out and saying that, yeah, you know, there could be life out there. Maybe some of the things we're witnessing is actually extraterrestrial life. So in a new paper, they've theorized that a number of inexplicable flickering lights observed over the decades may be interstellar communication lasers used to send messages from one end of outer space to the other. They say the blinking lights are most likely derived from quote-unquote natural, if what, if somewhat extreme astrophysical sources, adding that the findings could change the study of astrophysics forever. The implications of finding such objects extend from traditional astrophysics fields to the more exotic searches for evidence of technologically advanced civilizations, the author wrote in a report published in the Astronomical Journal. So researchers pulled publicly accessible images such as old military records dating back to the 50s. By comparing historical observations with current surveys of the sky, they were able to pinpoint instances of stars seemingly disappearing from the Milky Way. They call these vanishing objects red transients. So, you know, just think about it. A lot of times they give names to stuff that they don't understand, but they just call it a name. Oh, those are red transients. Oh, well, okay, I guess they know about it. So, yeah, okay, they're red transients. They're just some sort of star. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's a star destroyer. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe it's Star Killer Base from Star Wars or something of the like. So it's fascinating that we're seeing this uh, come out now. And more and more of this is just coming out in so many different ways. Uh, here we see uh, Gizmodo, uh, the same basic story. Uh, this just came out. And then this is the actual, uh, the actual paper out of the Astronomical Journal. And so if you want to read what they actually wrote, we have it right here. So we're going to give that to you as well in the links. And every day we see more and more of these things. Of course, this is the Daily Star, which, you know, right off the bat, you know, it's the type of paper you would just throw away normally in many cases. Yet, at the same time, these are the papers that have been fearlessly covering this stuff including like the Navy incidents, which, you know, came out and were verified as authentic. Uh, or perhaps there's something else going on there as well, as we talked about before with the Navy saying they don't have the technology, but then the patents for that exact te- technology comes out. And the, p- the public can see that. And we covered that in videos as well. So is it them or is it us? That's a big question. But there's a lot of things up in the sky now. There's a ton. And you guys are seeing them too. And you sent in some interesting stuff I'm going to show as well. So here we see mystery as several bright objects filmed splitting in two above New Mexico. And I've seen this type of thing a million times now. They're not birds. They're orbs of some sort. And I've gotten so many photos of orbs just out of my videos uh, dozens of times. How full is the sky with these things? And some viewers, as you see up here, believe these orbs belong to a secret fleet of the U.S. Space Force. I think there's a lot of things the Space Force has, and I think it's already there. I think President Trump's asking for something that he knows already exists, and it's just a matter of kind of bringing it out to the open. And a lot of things are starting to be revealed. So this footage was taken by Chris, whose last name wasn't given before being sent to Mr. MBB333. And of course, you know, he's he's awesome. His channel is great, as everybody knows. Appears to show at least eight bright objects hovering in formation in the blue sky on first glance. They, it seems they could be simply be a flock of birds. But, you know, as you look closer, you see that these are orbs that are splitting into two. So what are they? Are they plasma? Are they life? Are they 
some sort of crazy technology that we can't even really comprehend. If you've ever listened to Clifford Stone uh, being interviewed on Gaia, he talks about seeing a UFO, and this is in a you know deep underground military base, that looks to be 35 feet across in diameter and not that high, and then walking into it, and it's as if it's multi-storied and huge. And he said he had no explanation for it. Seemed to defy the laws of gravity. Uh, per- perhaps tech people, beings that have that type of technology where they could actually manipulate the laws of gravity. Again, think about a civilization that's even a thousand years ahead of where we are now. What the technology would be like. What if they were a million years ahead or two million years ahead? There are stars that are vastly older than our, our sun. So there could be extremely advanced societies out there. And we know about the Kardashev scale, which has talked about that. And there's different levels of society that's given to them. And so at some levels, they would not only learn how to harness the power of the planet, but the entire solar system and the sun itself in that solar system. And they would also be able to move it from one place to another. Many people have said that our our sun, our moon, everything is not in the right position. Now we think we're thinking many are thinking it's part of the magnetic pole reversal and perhaps there's an actual physical shift going on as well. Or perhaps we're moving to uncharted territories because maybe we're being steered there as well. And that's another thing to think about. So this was a very cool thing and of course there's a link to Mr. MBB's video on that. We see over here the real reason U.S. government is so secretive about UFOs. This is out of the Washington Examiner. And it's well written. And it's interesting, you know, because basically, in a roundabout way, he's saying what it is is because uh, they show technology that could kick our butts and it wouldn't even be a fair fight. It wouldn't even be close to a fair fight. And so the government doesn't want to let us know that we're absolutely completely unprotected and at the mercy of whoever it is that would come. And we'd have absolutely no chance at defending ourselves. So that's basically kind of the the gist here. And then over here we have an unclassified um, paper out of a UK archive. And uh, basically getting in again. Uh, this was top secret and it's declassified. And again, you know, it comes to the conclusion, hey, there's stuff out there that is apparently being intelligently operated and we don't know what it is, but, you know, they seem way ahead of us. So let's hope they're nice is basically the gist of it. And if we go over here, here is a photo that was sent in again of these type of orbs and changing shapes, morphing. Some disappear, some come back on. They're not Chinese lanterns. Um I played with this a little bit to try to bring it out as far as light and color. So if we kind of revert it back to where it was, you know, it doesn't really change much. But it's interesting because what are these? Again, are they ours? If so, we have some pretty cool technology. Are they somebody else's? And we've talked about the inner earth civilizations as well. It doesn't mean they are necessarily extraterrestrial. As, I, as I've said before, we know that we've gone through periods of tremendous destruction on the surface. And apparently, if we go through a complete uh, magnetic reversal, some believe our memories will be wiped, those that survive it. And we won't know anything. We'll be stumbling around like cavemen, grunting and everything again. You know, so back to square one. And if that is the case for those of us that are on the surface, how about those that have gone into the earth, as all the legends say? Maybe they don't lose their memory. Maybe they don't lose their technology. Maybe they've been here for a couple million years even. There's certainly unusual artifacts all over uh, that point to advanced civilizations here. So if that's the case, then maybe they're earthlings after all. And then this was sent in by Margo, and this is 22 minutes long, so it's very long. This is filmed in the beach in California. And this is exactly what we're talking about again. It's these orb-like things. Boom, one disappears. 
and this is with her phone. She was just kind of shocked looking out and trying to get a picture of it, trying to bring it in. And like now, you might be able to make out that it almost looks to me to be kind of like plasma. Like when you look at a star and you magnify it, um, it kind of is like that. It kind of has this effect of movement and shimmering. So we see the other one comes back, and there it goes out again. Nope, now it's back. I was wondering, you know, is this reflections? What's going on? Everybody always says, oh, she must be behind a double pane, double pane glass window. And, you know, it, I think we've seen way too many of these things. And I know, I mean, I've filled these, filmed these types of things myself, just out there in the middle of the desert. I didn't bring a window and have Cindy put it up in front of me while I'm filming. You know, let's, let's look to uh, perhaps consider these things might actually be legit sometimes instead of always trying to debunk, debunk, debunk. Uh, you know, this one's weird too because there you have a strange white light as well that has a different shape to it. And, you know, I find it interesting, too. Margot sent me this. At first, it didn't come through the other day. She sent it, like, two days ago. And there was the attachment didn't come through. And then she resent it. And it so happens to be, like, right when I was reading that article up there about um, Mr. MBB's sighting, she sends me this. So, I mean, we have another one that's kind of like this as well. And then Cindy witnessed stuff like this last Christmas. You know, and, and and she sent me a, a video of it as well. And um, it was, would you say, pretty similar? Well, there was uh, things lighting up behind the clouds last Christmas. It was like um, there was a lot of light but no thunder. It was so strange. And then you actually did find the orbs, though. So that was your separate find. So, yeah, we see a lot of these things. And then, of course, where she filmed it was directly over towards the military base. So, you know, who knows what that was? I mean, again, it could be could be ours. It could be our military stuff they're trying out. You know, maybe it's some sort of energy weapons. Who knows? You know, uh, it's curious. Is it normal? Well, I mean, I, I think now we're seeing... <laughs> Abby normal stuff in the skies all the time but perhaps you know these things are here to stay and perhaps we'll have a full rational explanation sometime soon as we see these so as always my friends I look forward to your comments send us what you got send us videos send us uh, messages let no letting us know and share with the family too what you've experienced what you've seen you know we're seeing this stuff every single day now I see that in the comments. I see it everywhere. So I do think we're getting closer and closer to uh, disclosure of some sort. I think it's underway. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support on Patreon and Ko-Fi. God bless and namaste. Namaste.